The CDC has issued its strongest guidance to date urging pregnant women to be vaccinated against COVID-19. The guidance comes as more than a quarter million cases of COVID in pregnant women have been reported. A total of 161 pregnant women have died of COVID, according to the CDC, and with 22 deaths in August alone. Yet less than a third of pregnant women have been vaccinated. In Washington, the clock is ticking down to a possible shutdown of the federal government. But Democrats appear confident as they can pass a spending bill today to avoid that. Less certain whether they will be able to advance two key parts of President Biden's agenda. NBC's Chris Pallone is on Capitol Hill with the very latest. Barring a last-minute setback, Congress appears poised to pass a temporary spending bill which will keep the government open until December. We are ready to move forward. We have an agreement on the CR, the continuing resolution to prevent the government shutdown. Less certain what will happen today in the House, which is scheduled to vote on a $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. Progressive House Democrats say they will vote it down unless Senate Democrats reach agreement to pass a $3.5 trillion bill supporting social programs and measures to fight climate change. So far, West Virginia's Joe Manchin and Arizona's Kirsten Cinema, the two Senate Democrats objecting to the larger spending bill. We're just in a different position. That's all. And you have to work through that. That's negotiation. Well, then then that's where we are. I mean, I, we're a no on the bipartisan bill until we get a vote on the reconciliation bill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi forging ahead. Are you worried that you may not have the votes? President Biden went to the annual congressional baseball game between Republicans and Democrats Wednesday night, taking a few more swings, no doubt, at rallying support for his agenda. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Washington.